Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the shop. As you may recall, in a recent video, I discovered a voltage difference between the frame and the suspension on my truck, which was enough to cause a spark and enough to cause concern. In the video following that, I used a simple troubleshooting technique to narrow down where the problem was, and it's been narrowed down to the SAM module or the signal activation and detection module or something like that. I'll put it on the screen. This time, I'm gonna try and narrow down further where the cause of this voltage leak is. Since we know that the issue is in the SAM module, everything this time we'll be focusing on the SAM module. What I've done is I've brought my voltmeter up to the front of the truck here so that I can monitor everything from the front. And I've run wiring from this voltmeter all the way back underneath the truck to the axle, measuring from the exact same point so I can keep things consistent. The SAM module contains a lot of circuits that are controlling and monitoring things within the truck. What I have discovered is when I remove power from the SAM module, the voltage that I have occurring disappears. Right now, I have power to the SAM module and I have a 7.3 volt difference between the axle and the frame. If I come over here, I've got one power already removed. This is a backup power which doesn't seem to affect it. And this is the other main power. So when I remove this power, I come back over here, I've essentially lost the voltage. And the keen eye of you would have noticed there's a lot of circuitry going on on that module. There are about half a dozen relays, about 12 plugs with wiring coming in and out of them, and about 30 fuses. So how are we going to narrow it down from that entire module to hopefully one or two circuits that are causing this? Well, the same way that I did the entire truck down to the one module. And the same way you would eat an elephant, one bite at a time. But don't eat elephants, they're cool. Alrighty, let's get started. I have relocated my voltmeter so that you can see it. Um, and what I'm going to start doing is pulling each of the plugs out of the SAM, and then I'll pull the relays and pull the fuses. I do want to mention one thing because I have moved this, I am right at the limit of my uh, cable connections. If you see this voltage drop, don't instantly go, woohoo, he got it, because uh, I'm really tight on these two connections at the bottom here, and sometimes they slip out. So if the meter moves, we may lose contact there. Let's start. We're gonna break this down quickly, okay? Fuse panel, SAM module circuit one, unplug. No difference. Let's go with number two. Again, no difference. See how fast we're eliminating circuits here? All of these wires now have nothing to do with that voltage. Okay, let's go down to the next row. All right, no difference. No difference. No difference. I've now eliminated a massive chunk of wiring from what could be causing the problem, which unfortunately starts narrowing it down to more serious problems, but we've still got a couple harnesses to go. Pull this one out of the bottom, nothing there. Next harness out, no change there. Last harness out of the box. Minor change, I'm not really concerned about that, that I can have a different resistance in the connection here. And, and also this is a different voltage from what we were seeing in the beginning. I'm not concerned with that. I've got a really long skinny wire running to the back of the truck so there can be voltage drop in that. Bottom line here, very quickly eliminated basically the truck from this being a, a wiring issue on the truck. Now I've got fuses and relays in the SAM module, and then the SAM itself. So the next step, I'm going to start pulling the relays because they're easier to pull than the fuses. We'll see what happens there. We're keeping the voltmeter on. I'll try and do this without knocking anything over. No difference on that relay. And at this point, I'm not really caring what circuits I'm pulling. I can identify it once I get to a circuit that makes a difference. If I get to a circuit that makes a difference. The farther along I go in this, the more scared I am of what this is gonna be. Still have voltage going to the frame. 
Oh, these are difficult to get out. There. I've now removed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven relays. Two more up here. Still really effectively no change. All right. All of the relays and all the wire harnesses are now out of the SAM. The only thing that's plugged in is the main power feed, which obviously, if I unplug the power feed, goes away. So something inside this SAM is still allowing power to go to ground with everything unplugged. Now I can pull every one of those fuses as well, but I don't think that's going to make a difference because each of those fuses should ideally really be leading to one of these wires that feeds something in the truck. Uh, I am not sure if there is anything that comes in on the back of the SAM module. And I'm sure some of you are yelling at me for calling it a SAM module because that's what the M stands for. It's like a pin number or a VIN number. Anyway, uh, I think I need to do a double check on the back of this module to make sure there is no uh, circuitry coming in the back. And after that, it may be as quickly as that narrowed down to something inside the SAM allowing power to go to ground. Well, there are most definitely wires coming in the back of this, so this is going to take a little bit more work, but maybe the problem is not inside the SAM. So there appear to be five plugs on Sam's backside. One here, one here, one in the middle, and one there and one here. So I'm gonna follow the same approach here. And I'm gonna unplug one at a time with the power plug back in, watching my meter and see if the voltage disappears. Unfortunately, with the running out of space here, I can't get my meter in the shot at the same time, but there you go, we've got voltage. Let's see what happens. We undo these plugs. Let's start with the ones that look easier to undo. No change there. No change there. I don't even know how to undo these ones. I think I might have to go read the manual. Looks like these need to pop up and then shift over. Yeah, that's gonna require some research. Okay, not as complicated as I thought. There's a little tab on the back side here. You push that down, and then this swings out of the way and should lift the plug out at the same time. No change there. We've got two harnesses left. This one has the same style of plug. No change there, we're down to one plug left. Looks like it's similar. Oh, this is a tight spot. All right. All the plugs are out of the back of the SAM. And I still have 7.3 volts. That, to me, is something internal in the SAM. Well, I'm at the point now where I've pulled the SAM completely out of the truck. I just wanted to make sure that the mounting bolts weren't grounding out something inside. Plug the power back into plug 8C, and I have a voltage of 7 point something volts. There's nothing else other than something inside the SAM that is causing this to happen, unfortunately. But on the bright side, the truck still runs and everything works. So for now, I'm going to put this back together the way that it was and just know what's causing the problem. I'll keep my eye out for a reasonably priced used SAM. Swap it out when I find one. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, maybe consider giving us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's lots more content like this to come. If you've got any questions about the things that I've done, post them in the comment section down below, and I'll do what I can to answer them. Better yet, if you've seen something that I have done wrong, let me know so that I can fix it. And if you think this video will help someone, please feel free to share it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.